For ease of assembly, the body should be built all at once. This will allow for easier adjustments before leaving the glue to set. Separate the bottom panel and the two center pieces. Run a thin layer of glue along the bottom of each piece, as well as the sides of each tab. Fit into place using the slots as a guide. The cutout will create a channel for the resonator and a spine for the banjo. The larger end is the front of the guitar, where the neck will be attached. Pair one of the braces with one of the end pieces. Add a thin layer of glue over the entire piece. You can add a dollop of glue into the joints or leave the extra glue on the piece and spread like so. The three holes indicate where the tailpiece will be mounted. Repeat this process for the opposite panels. The rectangular cutout will allow the installation of the neck bracing block. These screws will act as clamps for the end of walls while you work. The holes have been scored to easily help countersink. Use a drill or a screwdriver to insert the screws until flush. Now slide the bracing block into the newly made cradle. It should fit snug. This brace doubles as a support for the neck as well as the body. With the holes as guides, pre-drill using a 16th inch drill bit. Fasten in place using the provided screws. With a thin layer of glue on one side, place the heel shim flush with the notch. Add another layer of glue to the top and slide the last brace into place until flush as shown. Pre-drill using a 16th inch drill bit. Now add a dollop of glue into each joint of the panels. A brush, popsicle stick, or similar tool can help spread the glue neatly. Now spread a thin layer on the bottom of each side wall. Wipe away any excess glue with a clean rag and clamp together as evenly as possible, taking care not to warp the pieces. To assemble the soundboard, start by threading the bolts through the lid as shown. Position these spacers three on a side with a tapered end toward the bottom. These pieces will hold the resonator in place. Install as shown taking care to follow the radius for an even fit. Now add the resonator as shown with the round opening facing the sound holes. Carefully install the last brace and thread each nut until tight enough that the banjo head will hang suspended. This should leave the head nearly flush with the top. Now dry fit it to the body. Once everything has dried, add glue to the brace for the neck. 
clamp with just enough pressure to nudge into final alignment. Lining it up so it is flush with the box and centered with the bracing. Screw the lid down using the pre-cut holes. This will allow access if you need to service the tambourine in the future. It is recommended to pre-drill the tuner screws with a 16th inch drill bit. Install the tuner with the gear facing the body of the instrument. Pre-drilling and tightening by hand helps prevent any damage to the small screws. Finally, press the bushings into place. Secure the tailpiece. Use even pressure to carefully bend the tailpiece into place. Starting with the heaviest string, loop the ball end through the top of the tailpiece and hook into place. Then pull the string through the retainer and corresponding tuner, leaving a little slack. Wrap the string once around the outside of the post, above the protruding string. Turn the key away from you to wind the string down the post below the hole until tension is firm. Repeat for remaining strings. To string left-handed, simply reverse the string placement. All that's left is to tune to pitch and get to picking. Yeah.